Hello, I'm Joseph Arthur Joe. Um, this one is about Ecclesiastes. For every thing a season. Uh, you remember that bird song? For every season, turn, turn, turn. Da, 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 turn, turn. A time for peace, a time for war, a time for love, a time for hate, a time for love, a time for love, a time for love, I swear it's not too late. Anyway, the birds, if you're a youngin', check them out, they're amazing. And I like this, it's, it's from you, uh, Ecclesiastes, is that how you say it? In the Bible, uh, it's it's straight out of there, those lyrics. And it's amazing, because it just makes you think like, for, every th for everything a season. And I think it's difficult to let go of our past. At least, I'm speaking for myself. And when I release myself from the past and realize that I don't have to identify with who I've been in the past. It frees me up to explore so much more uh, right now, right in the here and the now. And the more we repent and forgive ourselves and are forgiven, the more we can be born again within this very moment. It's incredible. Um, and so, yeah, I just had this realization in yoga class today too. like. God loves you so much because God isn't holding on to your sins. You are. Um, he's not looking at your whole history of everything you've done wrong and sitting around judging you for it, going like, that mother effer did this and this and this. He's not doing that, but you are doing that. And that's like shackles on your life to feel peace and feel whole and feel connected and allow yourself to really be empowered in the moment. So the more you can just let go and forgive, and that's why that's why like the word repent is like this, ooh, are you a religious guy word, but it's not. It's about letting go and breaking the shackles of the past so that you can become the most expanded version of yourself in the here and now, and that's allowing the Holy Spirit to be born within you and spread his wings and then really guide you. But the devil will be up there going like, oh, but remember what you did this and you said this and you're an addict and you can't, you know, and look at what you did last night and look, yeah, you're trying, but you're just gonna fail again, you know, like all that kind of gobbledygook just weighs you down and you identify th those thoughts as yourself. And then instead of, letting go and and repenting and forgiving it's easier just to distract yourself with the same old addictive behavior and engage in dramas with people that are also trapped in that kind of thing i wanted to tell a story about how i smoked my first spliff with joe strummer the the legendary songwriter singer and guitar player for the clash um and how uh I, yeah, I didn't know what that thing was. He was rolling it, and I and I like uh, I saw him roll up and break off hash. I didn't know what hash was, and I, I um, ended up smoking, and it didn't do anything. But I got to meet you know a rock and roll idol like that, and and uh, and and I had that experience, and that was great. You know what I mean? It was in England at Peter Gabriel's studio. And I got a lot of stories like that. Really interesting. So the past also can be like, wow, look at what you had in the past. And now where are you? And this is one of the great things about what's gone on in my life recently. Because a lot of that rock and roll sort of glamour stuff, not that it was all that glamorous most of the time, and not that even smoking a spliff with Joe Strummer is particularly glamorous. It actually wasn't, but <laughs> it makes for a good story. But my point is that the past can also be like, look at all this stuff, you know, and you don't have that anymore. But the thing is, is um, 
God will strip you down as well because he doesn't want you identifying with your false self that's going to constantly be engaged in the ego. He wants you to see, to be able to forgive, to be born again uh, in, the, from, in the kingdom within, which is so much more than that. And so he will test you and try your soul. And there are those bird lyrics come in again, or the uh, Ecclesiastes uh, thing is for every time a season and so that for every time of being a season you can really be inspired in the here and the now what is this place because I feel like when you're engaged in life on that level and you're like really fully present in the moment that's the epitome of life it really doesn't matter if Joe Strummer's here with me now rolling up a spliff and me not understanding what it is and then smoking it with him and going like that's all that did that didn't do anything i thought that was going to be like some super hardcore clash type situation <laughs> and honestly joe strummers probably is here with me because he's in the spirit realm now and that's the other thing our lives aren't forever so it's it's what are we here doing i mean you know, not to go political, but there's certainly a big spiritual war being waged right now. And so if you're alive here now, you have a very, probably a pretty big deal purpose, you know, and not from a place of ego, but God loves us and wants us to let go of the crap. We are being lied to by de demonic forces from within and without, and it's making us small and it's making us think about the past in a way that we either cringe or regret that it's not as good as now or whatever it is. It's never like, oh, that was, you know, maybe here and there a glimpse and a smile at the past. But if it's more than a glimpse, it's messing with your mind. Alternatively, we're looking at the future and yeah, we can be practicing positive visualization, but even that, if you do that too much, it becomes this ego thing where you're just like, I am, I'm, I'm visualizing my positive self in the amazing, abundant future, uh, you know. And that can also become a grind. So it's about like letting go and easing. And yeah, I mean, I like visualizing things I wanna have happen in the future, and then that's cool. But like usually too, it's fear, and it's like, oh no, what happens if this happens and that happens? We need to be in the here and the now moment and that there is a time for peace, a time for war, a time for laughs, a time to cry. What a great song, a time to, did, I don't think Bob Dylan wrote that, but if he didn't, I bet you Bob Dylan was jealous of that song. Who wrote that one? Uh, tell me in the comments below. So yeah, I just don't feel really inspired by this by this particular Bible verse in terms of it being able to really inspire us uh, in the here and the now, because that's where life is. It's always the now, you know? And so, I mean, personally speaking, I've never been happier in my life. And it, I had to get stripped away of a lot of the artifice of it. And I see clearly now how loving God has been to me particularly in the last few years when in the material realm it's looked rough for me you know well whatever not even that it's looked rough but career wise let's say because honestly there's been a lot of blessings too and I don't think it's looked rough so I'm not want to put that blanket statement but career wise where my life was career wise in the music realm compared to like where it is now but I, even that sounds weird because I don't even I don't know, that's all stuff. But my point being is, supposedly bad things can happen and they turn out to be amazing things, the best things. And so let go of the past, forgive, and let yourself be set free in the here and the now moment. God loves you beyond. Your real self has never sinned, really. You're, that's the demonic part of you that's now accusing you and trying to trap you in his place. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let me know how you keep your faith alive in the comments below.